I can't use that here. This is Dr. Preduvichu. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'd like some help identifying this piece of wood I found. You have reached the desk of Dr. Irina Preduvichu. I'm away from my desk, but we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Irina Preduvichu speaking. Hi, this is Nancy Drew again. I've got the sample all ready. Wood Labs, Irina speaking. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. You just ID'd a wood sample for me over the phone? Only I don't think it's right. Can we try again? Wood Labs, Irina speaking. Hi, this is Nancy Drew again. Do you think you could take another stab at identifying that wood sample for me? This is Irina. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Could you try to identify that wood sample for me again? Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? Does the sample have a whole bunch of holes, like 20 or more, just a couple or none at all? And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? Oh, that doesn't sound right. If the sample has just a few holes or none at all, it's a softwood, and there's no softwood that I know of that's black. Examine the sample more carefully and call me back. Okay, that narrows it down a little. Are the big holes in separate sections from the small holes? Or do the big holes just gradually become small holes? If the wood is black with many holes, but they're all the same size, then you've got a hardwood with diffuse porosity. And I know of no North American black hardwood whose pore distribution is diffuse. Okay, now, looking closely at the big holes, would you say that they are about two holes deep, or are there more than two holes in a column? So, if the sample is black, is a hardwood that's semi-porous, then you probably have a sample of black walnut. I could be wrong, but if all the information you've given me is correct, I'd say that you've got black walnut. My guess is that you have a sample of black locust. I wouldn't bet the farm on it, but that's what it sounds like. Red mulberry, that's what I think it is. Red mulberry is very dark and often looks kind of black. I'd be happy to assist. Do you have our mailing address? Well, that's the problem. I don't have time to send it to you. Would it be possible to identify it over the phone? Certainly. Just hold it up to the phone for a couple of seconds and I'll take a reading. I'm kidding, of course. I usually don't do this over the phone, but I'll give it a try. You will, however, need to take a look at your sample under a microscope. I already did that. And are you near the sample, in case you need to refer back to it? All right, we'll get started. Where did you find this wood? It's a piece of driftwood, probably used for a crate. I'm collecting data by having people solve the puzzle that's on my website. If and when you solve it, I'll give you another free wood ID. I'm sorry, but my policy is to limit free wood sample identifications to one per person. Could you please make an exception in my case? It's kind of an emergency. I'll tell you what. I'm doing a study on the side that focuses on problem solving. Go to www.preduvichu.lab slash consult dot htm. Good luck. Solve the puzzle on my website and then give me a call. I need more data for my problem solving study. Brown brown or brown reddish? I'd say you either have Douglas fir or tamarack. Douglas fir is usually more brownish red, but I've seen some samples that are quite brown. Without examining the sample myself, I'm afraid that's the best I can do. Does the sample have many holes or just a couple or none at all? Okay, so you've got a hardwood that's brown brown. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small or are they all the same size? That narrows it down to three types of wood. Eastern hemlock, white fir, or redwood. I'd go with hemlock, but I certainly can't guarantee that's correct. Ooh, that's bad. There is a lot of wood that fits those characteristics. Could be any common hardwood, really. Oak, chestnut, ash. Without seeing the sample myself, I can't say for sure. Sorry. I was afraid of that. There are a lot of hardwoods that are diffuse porous, having many holes of the same size. Unfortunately, without seeing the sample, I can't really tell which it is. Does the sample have a ton of holes, like more than 20, or just a couple, or none at all? So, we've got a yellow hardwood. Good, that narrows it down. Do you notice any horizontal lines in the sample? Okay, if it's yellow and there are no horizontal lines, then you've got American holly, which has really, really tiny holes and thin vertical lines. Are the horizontal lines very narrow and faint, or are they pretty noticeable and white? It appears, then, that you have a sample of quaking aspen. Sounds like yellow buckeye to me. 
Go, Ohio. That was easy. The only yellow softwood is western white pine. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? Well, I can tell you that you've got a softwood, like pine or cedar, but I can't tell you much more than that without seeing the wood myself. Sorry. So, we've got a brown-red hardwood that's ring or semi-ring porous. Okay, so the big holes, are they clustered together, or do they gradually become small holes? Okay, and the holes are really, really tiny, right? <sighs> are there any noticeable vertical lines? Great. Now, are there horizontal lines or vertical lines in the sample, or no lines at all? <sighs> well, unfortunately, I can't ID the sample, because that description accounts for a lot of different woods. Beech, sycamore, alder, maple, you name it. Druglands, cenaria. Butternut. That would be my guess. If it's got this kind of wavy horizontal banding, then it's definitely butternut. And is the banding, I mean the lines, are they wide or narrow? Hmm, you must have slipped up somewhere, because I don't know of any wood with those qualities. You've got an oak, and judging by the color, I'd say tan oak. Sounds like pecan. Has narrow vertical lines which get a bit wavy toward the early growth or large pores. That should narrow it down. Okay now, there should be really, really tiny holes or pores that are whitish. Do they make a kind of wavy pattern or are they clustered in small groups? Then that sounds like honey locust. Brown red, many big and small holes with big holes kind of clustered. Distinct vertical lines with wavy late wood. Sounds like you have Kentucky coffee tree. But it's kind of odd that coffee tree would be used for crates. Overall, are the holes just really, really tiny? That sounds like winged elm. Okay, looking at the really tiny holes, do they fan out like... Well, like a fan from the big holes? Then I'd say you got a sample of chinkapin. I'm guessing that the wood is slippery elm. The large holes are about two to six pores deep. Then you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right. Are there any distinguishable horizontal lines on the sample? If this wood is used for creating, then it's probably Luan. It's fairly common in plywood, but it's a rainforest timber, so it's declining in popularity. Too bad. Horizontal lines would have narrowed it down. I'm afraid there's nothing more I can tell you except that you've got a tropical wood. Sorry. Have a good day. Glad to have been of service. Good luck. You're welcome. I hope that's right. Thanks for calling. Please check your sample again. Goodbye. Yum, 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 yum. No one is available to take your call. Please call back. Hold it right there, missy. If it ain't the girl detective herself, your toast sister with a capital T. Hold it right there, missy. Well, well, the boss said you might be joining us. Oopsie, looks like we got ourselves a stowaway. If it ain't the girl detective herself, your toast sister with a capital T. Well, well, the boss said you might be joining us. Oopsie, looks like we got ourselves a stowaway. If it ain't the girl detective herself, your toast sister with a capital T. Hold it right there, missy. Hold it right there, missy. Well, well, the boss said you might be joining us. Oopsie, looks like we got ourselves a stowaway. What are you eating? Beef jerky. Liberated it from that camping supply place. Want some? Still can't believe you robbed those places. The boss was fit to be tied, especially after you hit that cafe. Having that tunnel with all those trap doors and nobody suspecting a thing? It was like being a kid with a key to the candy store. I couldn't help myself. What are you eating? Beef jerky. Liberated it from that camping supply place. Want some? Still can't believe you robbed those places. The boss was fit to be tied, especially after you hit that cafe. Having that tunnel with all those trap doors and nobody suspecting a thing? It was like being a kid with a key to the candy store. I couldn't help myself. What are you eating? Beef jerky. Liberated it from that camping supply place. Want some? Still can't believe you robbed those places. The boss was fit to be tied, especially after you hit that cafe. Having that tunnel with all those trap doors and nobody suspecting a thing? It was like being a kid with a key to the candy store. I couldn't help myself. Where'd you put the notebook? Boss has it. Nice of Hilda Nutjob to leave it behind like that, huh? 
Couldn't have pulled this off without it, that's for sure. Where'd you put the notebook? Boss has it. Nice of Hilda Nutjob to leave it behind like that, huh? Couldn't have pulled this off without it, that's for sure. Where'd you put the notebook? Boss has it. Nice of Hilda Nutjob to leave it behind like that, huh? Couldn't have pulled this off without it, that's for sure. Whale's making her final dive. Good. The launch just brought in the last of the stuff that was stored in the sea cave. Another hour, and we'll be out of here. Whale's making her final dive. Good. The launch just brought in the last of the stuff that was stored in the sea cave. Another hour, and we'll be out of here. Hey, no snoozing. Boss says this Nancy Drew person is a real troublemaker. Like she's gonna show up out here. I'm just telling you what the boss told me. Now keep your eyes open. Hey, no snoozing. Boss says this Nancy Drew person is a real troublemaker. Like she's gonna show up out here. I'm just telling you what the boss told me. Now keep your eyes open. Hey, no snoozing. Boss says this Nancy Drew person is a real troublemaker. Like she's gonna show up out here. I'm just telling you what the boss told me. Now keep your eyes open. Shh, you hear something? Shh, you hear something? What was that? What was that? Hey, I could have sworn I saw something move over there. Hey, I could have sworn I saw something move over there. Here's everything you'll need. Nope. <laughs> Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited. But for some reason, I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Beth arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every year's Nancy. <coughs> Girly, I didn't hurt anything, but I just. <coughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> my phone doesn't work. I can't get a signal down here. Welcome to my latest case, the haunted carousel. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. Okay. As always, your mission is to solve the mystery. You're going to step into my shoes and be my eyes and ears. It will be up to you to decide my every move. When you're in the center of a room, you can turn around in a circle to see the whole room. Move your cursor to the left or right edge of the screen and you'll automatically move in that direction. You can turn off this auto move feature in the game setup menu. A forward arrow allows you to advance in the direction you want to go. Likewise, a back arrow allows you to take a step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available too. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow and take a step over to that round table to see what's there. I always carry my magnifying glass with me to scan for clues. When it turns red, I know I'm onto something. Move your mouse until the magnifying glass turns red and then click to zoom in. The magnifying glass comes in very handy. When it turns red, you can use it to open and close things, pick up objects, and move things around. When you want to go back to where you came from or turn around, find where your cursor turns into an arrow at the bottom of the screen and click. Take a few steps over to the desk and look for my room card key. All right! When you find something useful in the game, you can pick it up and carry it around with you. Like that key. Go ahead and pick it up. Good work! You're a natural. To use one of these objects, just move your mouse over it in the toolbox on the right and click on it. See how the cursor turns into that item? Now, if you click on the screen, you'll be using that object. Some items that wind up in your toolbox will have a tiny eye beside them. When you click on one of these items, you can see it close up, like my cell phone. Click on it right now and see what happens. There, see? You get a nice big close-up of it. By the way, you can use my cell phone in dial mode to dial a number yourself, or you can click on the directory button, then use the down arrow, it's on the button with a pound sign, to scroll through my stored numbers. When you find the number you want, 
Just press dial. Give it a try by calling my home. The number is 1-523-555-3739. You can either click on dial, then click each digit to dial it directly, or you can click on directory, then scroll down until you come to home. Once my number is displayed, just click on dial and voila! Hi, no one can take your call right now except Togo, and since he's forbidden to answer the phone because he gets slobber all over it, I'm afraid you're going to have to leave a message. Hi, no one can take your call right now except Togo, and since he's forbidden to answer the phone because he gets slobber all over it, I'm afraid you're going to have to leave a message. Is that everything? Oh, I almost forgot one of the most important detective skills. You know, questioning suspects. In the game, you can talk to the people you meet. The conversation will appear in the text box next to the toolbox. The words of the person you're talking to will be in blue, and my replies will be in white. Select a question or a reply by clicking on it, and listen to what your suspect says next. Give it a try. Excuse me, miss, but I couldn't help but notice that you're doing an awful lot of snooping around. Excuse me, sir, but I don't snoop. I sleuth. Who, me? Oh, no, I wasn't snooping. I was just looking for a dictionary. I keep forgetting how to spell perpetrator. And I couldn't help but notice that you're dressed like a chicken. What's up with that? If there are a lot of words in the text box, you know how some people can talk, those bars to the right move up and down so that you can read along. Hang in there. We're almost done. If you make a major mistake, say you fall off a roof or blow something up, you can select second chance from the main menu to get back to where you were before you goofed. And if you get stuck or feel like talking to someone you know you can trust, you can always call my good friends Bess and George. And in this game, you can call Frank and Joe Hardy, a.k.a. the Hardy Boys, too. So that's it. You're ready to tackle the case. I'll return you to the player challenge screen where you can start the game. The junior level provides a lot of help and hints. More experienced players may enjoy playing the senior detective level first. You never know what you'll turn up in the game, so be sure to explore. Don't forget to trust your instincts and have fun. Good luck. I'm visiting Katie Firestone. My name's Nancy Drew. I try not to make a habit of talking to strangers, Mr. Still working on it. It's harder than I thought it would be. Check it out. Got it right here. I'm sorry for trespassing like that. You were right to yell at me up there at the lighthouse. Call myself Nancy Drew? Or visit Katie Firestone. That depends on what you mean. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm visiting Katie Firestone. I'm Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone said I might be able to find you in here. I... I'm just here on vacation. Is that what you think Katie is? Really? Who's Cadborosaurus? Is it a friendly sea monster? Does it ever do anything? So it wasn't the snake horse? Why do you think they vanished? You're running for harbor master? You're running for office? <laughs> no offense, but you don't look like a politician. I have no idea. Why am I getting the feeling I'm not going to like this? And that would be me? You mean, if I take the quiz, you'll let me borrow the GPS? To aquariums? You mean to feed to other fish? Or to sea mammals? Maybe that's why the fish I saw were together like that. They've been frozen that way. Did you say you were a fisherman? Are you retired? How often do you go fishing? Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Thing is, I'd like to go kayaking while I'm here. Only I can't without a GPS. She seemed to think you'd let me borrow one of yours. Did you know Hilda Swenson? I finished that seamanship quiz. I've got a male crab, I think. I hear that you've taken a special interest in the lighthouse. I'm pretty sure I saw a couple of dead Atlantic herring on the beach earlier today. Is that possible? But they matched the picture I saw on that postcard over there perfectly. Why is it so impossible? Would you happen to have a flashlight I could borrow? I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you something. Do you think I could see it? I was hoping I could take a look at it. I need a favor. I need you to take me out on your boat. Well, it's a long story. But Katie Firestone may or may not be involved in something illegal. I really need to get out to where a boat went down five years ago. It's just outside the channel. I solved that chess problem. I can't. Not until I know for sure what's going on. I can explain on the way. They won't do anything. I don't have proof. It's possible that somebody is using that orca to secretly recover contraband from the shipwreck. Somebody, as in Katie Firestone. There's a chance that Katie Firestone is out there, and I really need to talk to her. Just before she took off in her boat, she told me she'd been secretly feeding the orca. See you around. Her boat was ransacked this morning. She's back at the boat right now trying to fix her engine. Somebody vandalized it. I'd say black, brownish, yellow. Let me check. 
A whole bunch. A couple. There are no holes in the sample. There are big and small holes. They're all the same size. The big holes are in separate sections. The holes just gradually get smaller. They are about two holes deep. I'd say more than two. Thanks a lot, Dr. Predovichu. Right, black locust. Thanks, Dr. Predovichu. Great. Thanks, Dr. Predovichu. Oops, I better go do that. I'll call you right back. Yep, I'm right by it. Uh, let me get over there, and I'll call you back. Brown, brown. Brown, reddish. Douglas, fur. Thank you for your time, Dr. Predovichu. Many. A couple. There are no holes in this sample. There are big and small holes. They're all the same size. I understand. Thank you for your time, Dr. Predovichu. A ton of holes. A couple. There are no holes in the sample. No, I don't see any. Yes, there are horizontal lines in the sample. American Holly. Got it. Thank you. They're fairly faint. They're fairly noticeable. Quaking Aspen. Great. Thanks, Doctor. Go Badgers. Buckeye it is. Thanks, Doctor. Many. A couple. There are no holes in the sample. There are big and small holes. They're all the same size. The big holes are clustered together in separate sections from the small holes. The holes just gradually get smaller. Yes. No, they're pretty sizable. Yes, not that I can tell. Horizontal lines. Vertical lines. There are no lines at all. Butternut it is. Thanks, Dr. Predovichu. Wide. Narrow. Tan oak. Got it. Thanks. Pecan. Got it. Thanks. I'd say they make a wavy pattern, definitely clustered in small groups. Honey locust? Great. Thanks, Dr. Predovichu. Kentucky coffee tree? That must be it. Thanks. They're pretty indistinguishable. No, there are some large holes in the sample. Winged elm. Thanks a lot for your help. Yes. No. Chinka pin? Okay, thanks. Thanks, doctor. Slippery elm it is. Yes, there are horizontal lines. Not that I can see. Luan, all right. Thanks for your help. Actually, I'm looking for someone named Holt Scotto. Since we haven't met, there's only one way you could know my name. Well, for starters, you could tell me your name. How long ago was that? So you own this cafe? How long have you owned this place? Your condolences? What do you mean? What kind of things? You mean, like the whale? What do you mean? Did she move away? And now she uses notes in bottles to communicate with people? Are you sure she's still alive? I wonder what she's trying to tell us. Did she ever leave anything behind that might help decode her messages? Why don't I go clamming for you? But I really need to see that necklace. Really? Was anything stolen? What did the sheriff say? Boat parts? How'd they get in? Would it be okay if I looked around? You know, it's possible that the sheriff Sheriff missed something. Does Andy Jason ever come in here? So Andy Jason is one of your regulars? Is Andy Jason in here now by any chance? What do you know about the shanghaiing that used to go on around here? Instead of the chowder, do you think I could try one of those muffins? I found a bottle floating in the water with a strange message inside. Do you have a flashlight I could borrow? Did Hilda Swenson give you something? It's kind of a long story. But I'd really love to see that necklace. Let's just say that there may be a method to Hilda's madness after all. Do you think you could get it for me? Did you know that there's a trap door in the floor of your banquet room? I haven't figured that out yet. I thought I'd check with you before I tried to find out. It drops down into a tunnel. It drops down into a tunnel. And when I explored it, I found another trap door leading up into another shop. It drops down into a tunnel. And when I explored it, I found trap doors going up into two other shops. There's a tunnel under it, but I haven't really explored it yet. There's a tunnel under it that dead ends at one end in this strange curved wall. There's a tunnel under it, but I haven't explored it completely yet. I checked out that trap door in your back room. Do you have that necklace you said you'd go get? Jenna, is there something you're not telling me about that tunnel I found? Think I could try a bowl of your clam chowder? You know, your clam chowder really is awesome. What can you tell me about Hilda Swenson? Instead of the chowder, do you think I could try one of those muffins? You know, that muffin I had before was really awesome. It's probably how those burglars got in and out. Maybe those stories about all those sailors getting shanghaied are true after all. Oh no, I'll be fine. You don't mean that. Only if you call the sheriff and tell him about it. A crime was committed and I just discovered something that might help solve it. 
I can't just drop it. It's been fun talking to you. Sorry. Sounds like you're making progress. Have you fixed the engine? Are you going to be able to fix it? Do you have any idea who did this? We better call the sheriff. Want me to help you? What town meeting? You think that could be why somebody did this to your boat? Some people don't like that idea? I take it not everyone agrees? And what do you say? But the fishery service has the last word? Are you sure you don't want to call somebody? But this is a crime. It needs to be reported. Who's Andy Jason? Do you want me to call the sheriff for you? Sounds like Holt Scotto was one of the people who didn't care for what you had to say last night. I talked to Jenna Deblin when I was at the hot kettle. Why would she spread rumors about you? Do you two not like each other or something? I found this piece of wood on the beach. There's something strange about it. I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. I wanted to explore that old lighthouse, but the door was locked. Have you ever been inside? Any idea who has the combination to the lock? Is there anyone who might be able to let me look around in there? Jenna Deblin said some of the things that were stolen from her back room in that burglary were boat parts she'd bought at Save King. I noticed a box from Save King over there and just thought it was kind of an interesting coincidence. Do a lot of people around here buy boat parts from Save King? Are you aware that there's a whole lot of fish going bad in your freezer? Why do you have so much fish? It's herring, if I'm not mistaken. The same kind of fish orcas in captivity are fed. What were you planning to do with it? What else have you found out? Why are you doing research on him? I saw a boat in a bottle at Andy Jason's place. He said it was made by a guy named Benjamin Hawkins. Here's a sandwich for you. That's exactly what I was thinking. Any idea where it came from? Does anything about it look familiar to you? No problem. I understand. I'm fine with the way things are. But if you insist, what was the feud about? Where would they hide? Would you by any chance have a flashlight? Would you like a sandwich? Want me to make you something to eat? See you in a bit. I think I do. They're using the whale to bring up smuggled cargo from a shipwreck. The answer is in those containers they're bringing aboard. Do you have any idea what's inside them? Hi, Katie. Nice to meet you. It's just that I kind of feel like I know you. How did you know my name? What do you mean? What kind of things? Trust me to do what? Everyone thinks you're crazy, but you don't seem crazy. Why can't we just talk face to face? What's the other secret you said you had? We will? That'd be great. You're watching me? Right now? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Not that I'm complaining, but wouldn't it be easier if you just gave me whatever it is you want me to have? Do you watch everyone in Snake Horse Harbor? Is that how you know something fishy is going on? You mean I'm never going to get any kind of explanation? Oh, that's not fair. What if I told you that I'm not going to do anything else until you tell me why this is so important to you? One more thing. But something just doesn't make sense to me. Uh Oh, like a very long fat snake with flippers, a head shaped like a horse's, and a back that humps when it swims. I think I know what's at the center of all the weirdness around here. A shipwreck. I think someone has enticed an orca into a life of crime. I'm not sure yet. It is? I knew you were going to say that. What was that? Let me guess. She eats a lot? She's not housebroken? She eats a lot and she's not housebroken. What kind of dog is she? Was there a reward out for her? How do you know her name? Is she yellow? She's convinced that Katie wants the orca captured instead of returned to her pod and it drives her up the wall. Katie's well educated and has been all over the world. Well, I'm pretty sure that Jenna isn't and hasn't. He wants the whale hauled out to sea pronto. Katie doesn't, and she said so. And he didn't like that. He's pretty old school. I don't think he knows how to deal with young, intelligent, independent, strong-willed women. How? So do I. Someone may have vandalized Katie's boat because he or she didn't like what Katie had to say about the orphaned orca that's been hanging around in the channel. Actually, I haven't met anyone besides Katie yet, so I can't say. I'm about to go into town to find out. Thought I'd check in with you guys first. I get the feeling that even though Katie lives and works in Snake Horse Harbor, she's still pretty much an outsider. Like Jenna Deblin, the woman who owns the Hot Kettle Cafe. Like Holt Scotto, this fisherman who's running for harbor master. This guy who runs a rival whale watching company, Andy Jason. He's just about the only person I've met who seems to like Katie. But if the person I suspect the least is the person I should suspect the most, Shouldn't I then go back to suspecting him the least? I didn't say I don't suspect him. Andy Jason has a boat in a bottle that Katie says was made by a settler in the mid-1800s who would periodically and mysteriously disappear. How he did what? You know how he vanished? I have a hunch a piece of driftwood I found somehow ties into whatever's going on around here. 
It came from a ship called the SS something. Like I said, it's just a hunch. Like Joe always says, leave no stone or suspicious piece of wood unturned. To get around on the water in Katie's kayak, I've been using a GPS. Jenna made it very clear that she does not want me exploring the tunnel I found under the Hot Kettle Cafe. She said it's because her great-great-grandfather used the tunnel to Shanghai men back in the late 1800s. She wanted to spare her family the embarrassment of everyone finding out. It's obvious that someone's been using the tunnel to commit burglaries. I can't help but think that she's somehow involved. Maybe she's got something hidden down there. When I was investigating the lighthouse, I just barely missed getting brained by a chunk of falling brick. It turns out that the tunnel is connected to the lighthouse. And when the door between them opens, so does this other door that leads from the lighthouse into the sea caves. I still haven't found any clues as to who the burglars are. Benjamin Hawkins' home was where the lighthouse is now. I kind of feel like I've gotten way off track, though. I mean, what does any of this have to do with Katie? Apparently, Snake Horse Harbor has its very own sea monster. Only the people that have seen it know for sure, and they seem to be pretty few and far between. I could sure use some hints when it comes to that seamanship quiz. Any hint as to how I can get that bottle unstuck from those rocks near the beach? I have no idea what the messages I found in those bottles mean. How about a hint? I need a hint. I still can't get into that box I found on the beach. I need a hint. I still can't get into that box I found on the beach. I could sure use a hint when it comes to that crazy story Hilda left for me in that box. Playing chess is not something I do very often. Any hints as to how I can solve that problem Holt gave me? That chess problem has got me stumped. How about a hint? I've seen the gifts that Hilda gave Holt, Jenna, and Andy. Any hint as to what I should do now? Know what I need? A hint pointing me to the combination to the lock on the lighthouse door. Any hint as to how I can fix those shutters for the signal lamp up in the lighthouse? The bulb for the signal lamp in the lighthouse is out. Any hints? I could sure use a hint when it comes to finding a book on wood identification. There are these movable card things on the wall in the hot kettle, but I'm not sure what they're for. Any hints? I made all the card hands in the hot kettle into royal flushes. But now what? Any hints? You know that email Hilda sent me? I could use a hint when it comes to what some of the things are that I'm supposed to look for. That broken up picture on the wall at the end of the tunnel has got me stumped. Any hints? That broken up picture on the wall in the basement of the lighthouse has got me stumped. Any hints? Any hints as to how to keep that broken up picture puzzle from driving me batty? I could sure use a hint when it comes to those dials on the ledge in the sea cave beneath the lighthouse. Talk to you later. I could sure use a hint when it comes to figuring out that riddle Hilda gave me. Hmm. 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 Interesting. 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 Welcome to my latest case, Danger on Deception Island. To learn how to play, choose Gameplay Overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. Any hint as to how I can get that bottle unstuck from those rocks near the beach? I could sure use a hint when it comes to figuring out that riddle Hilda gave me. Fine, except for the fact that just before I arrived, someone vandalized Katie's boat. Great, I got here just in time to solve a mystery. Don't worry, we're both fine. The engine of the boat was damaged, but Katie's working on it. It might have something to do with this orphan killer whale that's causing a lot of controversy here. Somebody came aboard Katie's boat while she was out and tore the place up. The crime? Vandalism. The time? Just before I arrived. The scene? Katie's boat. Because of Katie's opinion as to what to do with the whale, which she expressed very loudly in front of a lot of people last night. There was a town meeting last night. Katie apparently got a little argumentative. She said she was afraid her insurance company would raise her rates. I'm not sure I know that. Did you say gumbo? You're cooking something? When did all this start? What else have you cooked? She gave Holt a knife with a scrimshaw handle with the words one bum on it. She gave Andy the design for a keychain with the word tren in it. Nothing exactly earth-shattering. Things with nonsense words written on them. I don't know. I haven't seen them yet. You got me. In the cave, there were also some cargo containers. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with that piece of driftwood I found. All I know is whatever's going on has something to do with the White Chapel Dawn. I'm not totally sure. I can't help but think it's a little weird that Katie didn't call the sheriff after her boat was vandalized. This one woman, Jenna Deblin... She suggested that Katie trashed her own boat in order to discredit Holt Scotto and keep him from becoming harbor master. It's possible that she ransacked her own boat so she'd come off looking like a victim. You know, to make up for her less than sympathetic behavior last night. Maybe there's more to her interest in that orca than meets the eye. Holt Scotto and whoever vandalized Katie's boat seem to be fond of the word metal. 
he's tired of environmentalists always getting their way. Like with that orca. He's very knowledgeable, but he's also very anti-whale. Jenna Devlin went ballistic when I brought up the subject of Katie and the whale. She's convinced that Katie just wants to study the whale, not really help it. I get the feeling she just basically doesn't like Katie very much. You know, Jenna Devlin may have her faults, but being a bad cook isn't one of them. I'm pretty sure it's a family secret. If you ran a cafe and had a great recipe for something, would you give it away to anyone who asked for it? Holt Scotto caught me poking around the lighthouse and freaked. He all but chased me away with a stick. Of course. Not for a second. Good question. The obvious answer is that he's hiding something. I can't figure out if Andy Jason is friendly for real or if it's because he's basically a salesman. Could be. Katie is allowed to get right up next to the orca while he has to stay 300 feet away. He doesn't like that. I doubt it. I don't think someone was trying to wreck Katie's boat. I think they just wanted to mess it up to teach her a lesson. You're going to love this, Bess. I found a message in a bottle. Well, that's the part you're not going to love. The message was nothing but a string of numbers and the word rosebud. Well, that's the part you're not going to love. The message was nothing but a letter and a string of numbers and the word rosebud. Actually, I've found a couple of bottles, and the messages are all the same. Just letters and numbers and the word rosebud. I was hoping maybe you could tell me. I could sure use some hints when it comes to that seamanship quiz. I found a letter buried in a box on the beach. It was written by this supposedly crazy woman named Hilda. She wants me to send her something from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code. She gave me a little story to read about a dog named Alpha who wanted to learn how to play golf. I've talked to Hilda on the phone. She seems to know everything that's going on around here. I can't help but wonder why she's such a hermit, though. Has either of you guys ever been clamming? Ghosts apparently burglarized Jenna's place this afternoon. Casey, the maritime librarian, suggested that the SS Whitechapel Dawn may have been smuggling something into the U.S. when it went down. I'm afraid Katie's given me the boot. I have no idea what the messages I found in those bottles mean. How about a hint? I need to get into that box I found on the beach. Any hints? I need a hint. I still can't get into that box I found on the beach. I could sure use a hint when it comes to that crazy story Hilda left for me in that box. Playing chess is not something I do very often. Any hints as to how I can solve that problem Holt gave me? That chess problem has got me stumped. How about a hint? I've seen the gifts that Hilda gave Holt, Jenna, and Andy. Any hint as to what I should do now? Know what I need? A hint pointing me to the combination to the lock on the lighthouse door. Any hint as to how I can fix those shutters for the signal lamp up in the lighthouse? The bulb for the signal lamp in the lighthouse is out. Any hints? I could sure use a hint when it comes to finding a book on wood identification. There are these movable card things on the wall in the hot kettle, but I'm not sure what they're for. Any hints? I made all the card hands in the hot kettle into royal flushes. But now what? Any hints? You know that email Hilda sent me? I could use a hint when it comes to what some of the things are that I'm supposed to look for. That broken up picture on the wall at the end of the tunnel has got me stumped. Any hints? That broken up picture on the wall in the basement of the lighthouse has got me stumped. Any hints? Any hints as to how to keep that broken up picture puzzle from driving me batty? I better get going. I could sure use a hint when it comes to those dials on the ledge in the sea cave beneath the lighthouse. How are you guys fixed for hints? Thank you. Right. Nancy Drew. How did you know? Yes. What are you, psychic? Are you Andy Jason? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm visiting Katie Firestone. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm a friend of Katie Firestone's. I saw your business card on her boat. Katie Firestone told me you've been trying to buy out her business. So you consider yourself to be a friend of Katie's? Even though she keeps refusing to sell out to you? How did you know my name? Katie didn't tell me that you were psychic. You mean if she'd just accept your offer? Maybe she just likes being in business for herself. Sounds like you're pretty persistent. You've got quite a setup here. Isn't the whale just as good for your business as it is for hers? Why is that? Katie takes passengers with her when she checks on the whale? What kind of stuff was stolen in those other burglaries? Did they arrest anyone in those other burglaries? Do you really think Jenna is capable of tearing up an engine? Has she ever done anything violent like that before? I'd really like to talk to her about that and some other stuff. But she and her boat are gone. Although I have an idea where she went. Think you could take me for another boat ride? Like right now? and pick up my kayak along the way? Why do you want to buy Katie out? She can't be taking that many customers away from you. What do you think should be done with the orca out there? Someone ransacked Katie's boat while she was in town this morning. Made a real mess. What burglaries? This actually looked more like vandalism. Whoever ransacked Katie's boat tore a bunch of parts out of her engine. 
It's like they wanted to make sure she couldn't go anywhere for a while. In a way, it's kind of good. I mean, for you at least. Do you have any idea who would have done something like that? Do you know where I could get a flashlight around here? I'd like to play the games in your center, but it looks like I need some kind of key card. I want a free whale watching tour. Sounds great. I'm ready when you are. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you a present. Could I have a keychain? May I see the design? That boat in a bottle you have is fascinating. You mean Hilda Swenson? Was Benjamin Hawkins a sailor? So how do you get the boat in there? Do you know? Since I took your whale watching tour, I get a free keychain, right? Even if I really, really, really want one. Now, why did the term false advertising suddenly pop into my head? Someone broke into the hot kettle today. What other burglaries? Jenna said it looked like all they took was food and boat parts. Jenna said the sheriff is baffled. Apparently, all they took was food and boat parts. Have you ever been up in the lighthouse? I was hoping you could help me. It turns out that Katie's been feeding the orca. Katie fixed her boat and took it out. She may have gone out to the site of this old shipwreck. In any case, I'd really like to catch up to her. Would you laugh if I told you I found some kind of message in a bottle? She's the one who's been leaving the messages? Who's Hilda Swenson? Does anyone have any idea what the messages mean? I need a clamming permit. Jenna said I could get one from you. What kind of help do you need? You just got yourself a volunteer. I finished putting that display together just partway. I'd like to try to sneak up on her. Me and my kayak? Well, on whoever's out there. I'd be in my kayak. I've got all the equipment I need to be safe. I need you to take me out one and a half miles due northwest of the lighthouse. Please, this is really important. I can explain on the way. I've got all the equipment I need to be safe. Thanks for your time. Just tell me one thing. What's in those containers? I knew it was you all along. And I told Holt and Jenna, if anything happens to me, they'll know you did it. <coughs> Dear Ned, I've got to hand it to Andy Jason. The plan he cooked up to recover smuggled animal furs was a darn good one. First, he got himself an orca that the Russians had trained for covert military operations. Then, he made it look like the whale was an orphan so he could hide her in plain sight while she did his dirty work at night. Then, he and his henchmen disabled Katie's boat to keep her out of their way. They needed work gloves, so they stole hers. In fact, Andy's henchmen couldn't resist using the tunnel they'd found out about in Hilda's notebook to steal practically everything they could get their hands on. But now Andy and his buddies are in jail. Jenna is serving more clam chatter than ever. Katie is planning to vote for Holt after all. The orca is getting along great with a local pod and is rapidly losing interest in humans. And I'm back on the ferry headed home. See you soon, Nancy. P.S. Just before I left. I saw something appear, then quickly disappear in the channel by Katie's boat. She said it was just a log, but I'm pretty sure it was you-know-who saying goodbye. What were you doing at Katie's? Sounds like you go out there a lot. She said you might be able to help me identify the ship that this piece of plywood I found on the beach came from. I found this odd piece of wood on the beach. I don't know. Old plywood? Red mulberry, black walnut, black locust, hemlock, Douglas fir, butternut, honey locust, Kentucky coffee tree, winged elm, chinkapin, slippery elm, American holly, quaking aspen, yellow buckeye, western white pine, luan, pecan, tan oak. Uh-oh. I knew it was too good to be true. What about volcanic activity? Maybe it sank on top of an undersea vent or something. Could a recent storm have churned things up down there? What kind of ship was the Whitechapel Dawn? Was there anything unusual about that ship? The ship was smuggling something? Please, tell me everything. How many people went down with the ship? Why did the ship sink? So that's it. This note wasn't here before, was it? No, whoever messed up my boat must have written it. Andy Jason, Safe King. <laughs> what is that smell? Oh, pee, ew. Dead end. Here I am, over here, in the cargo hold. I'm here. Hey, Firestone, those must belong to Katie. That looks like what those orcas that were trained by the military were wearing in those pictures. She wants me to throw it back to her. Someone's trained her. She's not wild at all. Katie's gone. Oops, Katie said I shouldn't use her kayak without a GPS. Uh-oh, Katie's GPS doesn't look so hot. I'd better tell Katie her GPS is broken. There's a channel marker. Katie said not to go past them. There's a piece of paper inside. Maybe it's a message. Another message. Hands off, if you don't mind. Sorry, 
Sorry. Guess she's not back yet. Looks like you do a lot of shopping at Save King. I do all my shopping at Save King. Save King? Looks like they didn't take all her boat parts. I still don't have 15 yet. All right, 15 clams. I'm all set. Looks like somebody's running for Harbor Master. I have to bring him a male Dungeness crab? Gotcha! Oops, better get something to put it in first. I can't see a thing. I'm gonna need a flashlight. I can't dump the crab out here. What is this card thing? Good question. Aunt Iris said it and the others like it have been on the walls in here since the place was built. What is this card thing? Good question. Aunt Iris said it and the others like it have been on the walls in here since the place was built. I'll take that plate when you're done. Yuck! I'm not picking them up. So the dead fish I saw on the beach were Atlantic herring? <gasps> but- Hey, stay out of there! Sorry. Hmm. This looks like the combination to a lock. Trin. Wonder what that means. Wonder what's in those. I need to let that female crab go. It looks like whoever damaged your engine did something to your faucet, too. It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. Apparently our saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. Maybe N stands for North and W stands for West. Maybe the messages are coordinates. If the numbers are coordinates, I should be able to enter them into my GPS. Maybe the messages are coordinates. If they are, I should be able to enter them into my GPS. Here you go. It's beautiful. Elif, what kind of word is that? Hmm, I'll bet there's something about wood in here. Okay, what's the best way to get all these in here with no space left over? There, that's the way they should go. That doesn't look right. I don't know what it opens yet. Still not right. Okay if I use your microscope? Sure, go ahead. Whoa! Whoa! I better watch my step. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, Hannah. It's Nancy. To make a long story short, I slipped on some rocks and have to come home. Could you please pick me up from the airport tonight? It's flight 323. Oh, and bring a couple of ice packs and some clean bandages. And you should probably rent a wheelchair, too. See you soon. Yuck. I don't feel so good. Need any help? Nope. I'm all unpacked. Not yet. Have you fixed that faucet yet? Not yet. How come you store boat parts in here? Got a storm somewhere. I don't have a garage. I barely have a closet, and my boat breaks down a lot. Great! She got my message. Looks like I can't go in there. Too bad I wasn't invited. Sounds like they're having fun. Ah, my trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my batteries. Maybe I should check my email. Wonder what the deal is with these little flags. That's strange. Hmm, <laughs> wonder what's in here. Looks like whatever's in here is starting to defrost. It's rusted shut. Looks like the bulb's missing. You're free. Bye-bye. Fight the power, little one. Ollie, bye-bye. Be sure to write, you hear? It was fun. Stay beautiful. Don't let the turkeys get you down. Remember, eyes open, mouth shut. And I alone am left to tell the tale. This book is way too technical. A name and phone number. That's what I need. Complex morphological issues. Microscopic tracheid analysis. Microtome surfacing? A little oil should do the trick. Oh, I don't know if this book is for me. But maybe if I give Dr. Predovicu a call, she can help me out. Mm, that hit the spot. Looks like there's a note inside. Cool. If I have to do research on anything, I can use this. A slider puzzle? Oh, how derivative. I hate this kind of puzzle. I don't know what all those letters mean, but something tells me this may come in handy. Mmm, that was delicious. Great, thank you. I can't call anyone now. Someone might hear me. Those containers are from that shipwreck. There's something in that bottle, but it's stuck on those rocks. Oops. I don't need that right now. Each flag stands for a letter of the alphabet, and so do those words. Interesting. This is the weirdest story I've ever read. No, that's not right. Darn, still not right. There, checkmate. Spare bulbs. Yes! There's a razor blade. There's a slide. I can make a cross-section of that driftwood I found and look at it under the microscope. One glass slide. One slice of wood. There. This is going to look so cool under the microscope. Let's have a look. Wow. Awesome. Too cool. That doesn't look right. Ask H-S-A-J-J-D for Hilda's gift. Ask Holt 
Andy and Jenna for Hilda's gift. No more clamming for me. I've got all the clams I need. I don't see any more clams. Maybe I should look somewhere else for a while. Yikes! Guess there was something wrong with that bulb. Well, that bulb's no good. Darn, another dud. Ah, there we go. I still don't know what I'm supposed to send. Ah, my brand new anagram buster. If I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. Telephone number. Maybe that's it. Oops, that's not a clam. Yuck, you're no clam. Arf, a day late and a sand dollar short. No clams here. There's an opening up there. It goes to another tunnel. Hmm, wonder why that's there. That's a mirror image of what I saw in the tunnel. I'll bet it's right on the other side of this wall. That's a mirror image of what I saw in the basement of the lighthouse. I'll bet it's right on the other side of this wall. That sound. Where have I heard that sound before? My cell phone doesn't work in here. No signal. Katie? Katie? Oh my gosh! That piece of driftwood I found must have come from a container just like this one. That wasn't there before. I'm in the sea caves. Looks like I need a key card to play. A book on sea monsters. Very cool. The hot kettle was originally called the Royal Flush Saloon. Interesting. Wonder what this is for. Missed. Missed again. Darn! Ow! Ouch! <gasps> Ew! <whistles> that looks odd. That's odd. That's strange. That's not it. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Huh. No. Nope. Nope. Something's missing. Perfect. Very good. Am I smart or what? <coughs> <laughs> oh, this goes here. That doesn't go there. And this goes here. There. That looks right. There are bad guys all over the place. If I could make it back to my kayak, I could go get help. If they hear me, I'm done for. <gasps> Oops. Uh oh. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> oh no. That doesn't look right. I can't kayak to the shipwreck from here. It's too far. Maybe she went out to feed the whale. Or maybe she went out to the shipwreck. Wonder what's in here. I haven't seen everything that's in here yet. Send me something from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code? Something is fishy in Snake Horse Harbor. Opera glasses? Just what I always wanted. Maybe there are some clams out there on that spit. Ta-da! Let's see. So far, so good. I don't know what you... I'm going to go over here. I'm getting there. Hmm, if I win all the games in here, I get a chance to win a free whale-watching tour. I bet that's how those burglars got in here. S.S. Maybe this broke off from a ship. Whoa! That was close. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, Nancy. Uh, it's Hannah. I, I seem to have gotten beamed by a chunk of lighthouse. Could you please pick me up from the flight tonight? It's airport 323. Oh, and bring a pack of ice couples. I've got a grapefruit on my head the size of a goose egg. Am I making sense? Oh, well, soon you see. Oh, no! I'm trapped! The door! Maybe there's a boat outside. The orca's out there. No anagrams that need busting yet. Maybe I can use my handy-dandy anagram buster to figure out what those strange words on Hilda's gifts mean. Guess I'd better stay away from there. Wow, that's a beauty. There are some kind of symbols on those sails. Cool. A starfish. Awesome. Oops, must be ticklish. Anemones are so beautiful. Hilda wants me to send her my telephone number in Morse code from the lighthouse. Yeah, that makes sense. That must be it. A clam, yes! Aha! There you are, my pretty! Here we go. What was that? Looks like someone's been up here recently. Someone messy. That's today. Wonder why it's circled. The bulb is burned out. That purple one isn't attached to anything, so it should be okay to pick it up. How's it going, little buddy? Ask H S A J J D for Hilda's gift. <sighs> Five down, ten to go. Well, I'm more than halfway there. Three more, that's all I need. Thirteen clams, I just need to find two more. Fourteen down and one to go. Hmm, a cairn. 
Wonder who made it. This is where Hilda wants me to be, but what does she want me to do? I don't have any letters to unscramble yet. I wonder where that goes to. Looks like I'm going to need a kayak to find out. Wow, this must be where Benjamin Hawkins used to hide out. Whoa, a secret cave. I don't have any coordinates to enter. That's not right. More coordinates. I should have known. That looks like the device I found in the buoy. I don't have any message to send. Five, two, three, four, nine, nine. I think I messed up. Wonder what that thing is. I need more rocks. I already have some rocks. Better get more rocks. These would be great for rock skipping. That should do it. That looks perfect. There, that looks right. I better give Jenna the clams she asked for before I go poking around in there. I should do dots and dashes for the whole thing. I must need to do something else here. Wrong again. My bad. Wrong. I still don't have a GPS. Hmm. Some of those symbols look familiar. That doesn't make sense. I don't think so. Nah, not. Can't be that. Oops, I goofed. Made a boo boo. That was obviously made to be worn by something very big. I can't go looking for her in my kayak. Maybe I can get someone in town to help me. I'll do better next time. It would be rude to use my phone now. Nothing behind this one. Guess not all of them open. I don't have any new coordinates to enter. Whoa! I'll bet there are clams out there on that sandbar. Looks like the only way to get out there is by jumping from rock to rock. <laughs> Made it! I already have some oil. Oops, I need to put in my area code and my number. That's not my complete number. My GPS doesn't work. Must not be able to get a satellite signal in here. No signal. I don't have a complete set of coordinates to enter yet. Glad I'm wearing comfortable shoes, because it looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of walking. Phew. I feel like I've walked for miles. Are we there yet? At least I'm getting some exercise. I should finish this before I go looking at the slides in there. <laughs> wow, am I a creative genius or what? There, all done. Bingo. Correct. Good. Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. Darn. Nuts. Not wrong. That must be a channel marker. Those must be channel markers. That must be a channel marker, too. Those must be channel markers, too. Uh Oh, another danger buoy. There's obviously more to this, like the other half of the picture. Another cairn. I've got enough tenpenny nails, thank you very much. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. Huh, it must have malfunctioned. Oh well, at least now I'll get my card punched. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, Hannah, it's Nancy. Listen, I got a little careless and ignored some warning buoys and smashed into some rocks while I was kayaking. I'm okay, but Katie's kayak is ruined, and I promised her I'd replace it. So could you do me a big, big, big favor and fix Dad his favorite dinner so he's in a good mood? Then have him call me on my cell? Thanks, Hannah. As usual, I owe you one. Mmm. Yuck. Pew. Oh, man. Ew. Oh. Ugh, that smells awful. Those look like animal furs. Thanks for the tour. My pleasure. Not right now. It's not a good time. Not now. I should use the same thing as before. I need a special tool. I'll look at that later. Interesting. It's stuck. I need a bulb. It can't be that. That's just too silly. Neon thumb peeler. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. So what could it be that Hilda wants me to send her in Morse code from the top of the lighthouse? No humble preteen. That may be true, but I don't think that's it. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, it's Nancy. Just called to say hi. So, hi and bye. Ow! Oof, that was a neat trick. I wonder what else she can do. <laughs> I bet I can open it now. Sounds like that did something. That's weird. I can't get out this way. I wonder what this is for. I wonder how you open this. Now I can't get out through the tunnel. Looks like the only way out of here is the way I came in. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. The pipe's all fixed. I'll turn the water back on. The pipe's all fixed. I'll turn the water back on. Awesome. That didn't work. I rule. Voila. Not quite. Well, the pipe's fixed. Might as well turn the water back on. Queen moves to D6. Rook moves to H5. So black would move here. Holtz already put the first move in. That's the right piece for the second move, too. I need to decide where it moves and enter the answer. 
Q B R K N P. That's the right piece. Stuff to build a sandcastle. I could use a break. <sighs> Time to go back to work. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you something. Way to go, buddy! Nice aim! Bullseye! I already have a bulb. I already figured that out. She's so cute! What a smart whale! Maybe she wants to play catch. Oops! Better figure out how hard and at what angle I'm going to throw it first. I won the whale watching tour. All right! Yippee! If the crew sees me, I'm done for. Hold it right there, Missy. Well, well, the boss said you might be joining us. Oopsie, looks like we got ourselves a stowaway. If it ain't the Goyle detective herself. You're toast, sister, with a capital T. I can't let it go yet. I haven't shown it to Holt. I've already got a crab. Looks like they're not open yet. Maybe something in here can help me identify that piece of driftwood. As long as I'm here, I might as well really check this place out. I've never been to this beach before. Hmm, there was something under the pipes. Wonder what that is. There's water on the floor. Where's all this water coming from? Thank you for the great tour and for letting me use your camera. Match pairs across all three screens. The signal lamp's not working. I guess if I ever need to know anything about wood, I can call this Irina person. At least the person who messed up the faucet left all the pipes here. I hope. I'd better not snoop in there without Holt's permission, because if he caught me in the act, yikes! I noticed a box from Safe King over there and just thought it was kind of an interesting coincidence. Nothing happens. Some part of the system must not be working. It would be rude to use my phone now. I should wait till I'm by myself. Sounds like business is pretty good. Do a lot of people come in here? Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is wonderful. Mmm. Yum! Mmm, this hits the spot. Sea caves? They might be fun to explore. Oh, oh suddenly I don't feel so good! What happened? How did you get here? I'll need to win all the games first. The Orca! Katie, telephone number. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, that bulb works. Since I came in through the tunnel, it looks like I can't get out through the lighthouse. Because I came in through the lighthouse, I can't get out through the tunnel. That must be the orca I saw before. There you are, my pretty. I don't have a complete set of new coordinates to enter. I made a royal flush. Hey, fellow detective. Ever been to a ranch? I haven't, but I've been invited to one. It's in Arizona, and it's called Shadow Ranch, and I can't wait to go. You're invited, too. But I should probably warn you, it could be a little dangerous. <laughs> I don't feel so good all of a sudden. What did you put in that thing? Oh, man, I don't feel good at all. Nancy, I was afraid no one would ever find me. Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh, my gosh, someone tore the place apart. I was gone for less than an hour. The engine's a mess. Parts are missing. Others are damaged. Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. What happened? Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. I fixed my boat and went right out to check on the whale. Only the fog was rolling in and it was getting dark. Then I finally saw her, only she was being fed by some men in an outboard. They were putting some sort of harness on her. When they saw me, they rammed my boat, then grabbed me, tied me up, and brought me here. I don't know what's going on. Shh, listen. Someone's coming! Hide! Hide! Sorry. No, that floor was spick and span when I left for the store this morning. No, that floor was spick and span when I left for the store this morning. I cleaned the floor while you were gone. I'm kind of a neat freak. I cleaned the floor while you were gone. I'm kind of a neat freak. It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. Do you ever stop playing detective? Do you ever stop playing detective? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. They all fit, but figuring out which book needs to go where can be tricky. Make sure you think about it first. They all fit, but figuring out which book needs to go where can be tricky. Make sure you think about it first.
That bunk is yours. That bunk is yours. I discovered that the faucet doesn't work. I discovered that the faucet doesn't work. I discovered that the faucet doesn't work. It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cabinet under the sink. Have you fixed that faucet yet? Have you fixed that faucet yet? You can use my microscope if you want. You can use my microscope if you want. Sure, go ahead. Sure, go ahead. Need any help? Need any help? Mmm, I'm starving. It was right here in the engine compartment the whole time. Ouch, those splinters are sharp. Great. That was fabulous. Thank you. Okay, you wanted my headlamp. Where's my headlamp? Oh my gosh. I don't feel so good all of a sudden. What did you put in that thing? Oh man, I don't feel good at all. Oh, that one was even more disgusting. Oh, what did you put in it? Oh, you did it again. Oh, that was gross. I think I'm gonna spew. Why do you hate me? Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You, just always wear your life jacket. And don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. Nancy, I was afraid no one would ever find me. I fixed my boat and went right out to check on the whale. Only the fog was rolling in and it was getting dark. Then I finally saw her, only she was being fed by some men in an outboard. They were putting some sort of harness on her. When they saw me, they rammed my boat, then grabbed me, tied me up, and brought me here. I don't know what's going on. Shh. Listen. Someone's coming. Hide. Hide. Hey, what's going on? I'm kind of busy here, if you don't mind. What's up? Why would somebody do this? I better be able to. I can't afford to pay someone else to do it. And if I end up having to replace a lot of parts, I don't know what I'm going to do. No. Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates, and I just can't afford that. Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town, or... Or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. This orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. I did get pretty obnoxious. See, the thing is, anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a $1,000 fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea, which cost them time and fuel. They've asked me to monitor her physical condition while they study their data and decide what to do. But personally. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. I agree with the no-boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? I said as much last night, only much more strongly. She thinks I'm a know-it-all from the big city. She doesn't like me, that's for sure. Andy does whale-watching tours, too. If I had a dollar for every time he's come here trying to talk me into selling out to him, I wouldn't be fixing this engine. I'd be buying a new one. He and I never see eye to eye. Now, if I were a fisherman, I'd be right as rain no matter what nonsense came out of my mouth. Fine harbor master he'd make. What nasty rumor is she spreading about me today? What do you mean? Let's see it. Oh, no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. I don't think anybody's been up there for 20 years. The way I hear it, the whole thing could fall over any second. And, of course I am. Whoever tore up my engine damaged my wiring, too. Refrigerator's out, freezer's out, TV's out. As a matter of fact, I've done some research on Hawkins. He settled here in the mid-1800s, lived in a cabin where the lighthouse is now. That is odd. It looks like it's been in the water a long time, but if that were the case, those edges would be dull. That looks like it broke off of something just recently. Could be off a cargo ship, I guess. But you know who you should ask? No, not to me. But it might to someone else I know. Casey Porterfield. He works at the Maritime Library in Port Townsend. You should give him a call. His number is 360-555-3095. He loves checking out stuff like this. 
Holt Scotto has named himself its unofficial guardian for some reason, so I suppose he might. I'm getting there. I remembered that a friend of mine had stashed some boat parts in my storage locker. Everyone around here shops at Save King for boat parts and practically everything else. Any other questions? All right. I've been feeding the orca okay, but I'm not the only one. I can't afford to feed her much, and there's not enough natural fish in the channel for her to exist on, yet she's doing fine. Which means someone else is feeding her too. You know, this is not a good time for me to be trying to entertain a house guest. How about a rain check? As soon as I get this fixed, I'll take you to the mainland so you can catch a flight back to River Heights. I'm sorry, Nancy. He apparently had a major feud going with some sea captain. Hawkins would see the guy sail on the horizon, grab his family and all his valuables, and go into hiding for days. Some of the things I heard about him got my curiosity going. For instance, nobody knew. Rumor had it that the sea captain was an ex-pirate, which might explain why Hawkins hid. But where he hid is still a mystery. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. I have a headlamp. I mean, I have one somewhere. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm so hungry I can hardly see straight, let alone think straight. That would be awesome. I'll be right here. Be careful out there. Enjoy. Have fun. Hang on. I'll be right with you. What can I get for you, Nancy? Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Hi, Nancy. Oh, good. You got the clams. Let me take those from you. I'll take that clam tube off your hands, too. I don't have time to talk right now. Sorry. I heard everything you told Holt. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like better than to help you get the goods on Ms. High and Mighty. But I got a cafe to run. Try Andy Jason. I'm telling you, Andy Jason's your only hope. On the day my Aunt Iris turned this place over to me, she said, Jenna, you're about to become a real good listener. And darned if she wasn't right. Jenna Devlin. Sorry. My aunt didn't warn me when she left me this place that I'd be inheriting her knack for eavesdropping, too. Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. It's been in the Devlin family since the day it was built, which was back in, like... 1866 or something. My condolences. So, you're visiting Katie Firestone. Me and her don't see eye to eye on a couple of things. That orca out there should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy science degree says, other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it. Which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise me if she trashed her own boat, because she knew that after that meeting last night, everybody would assume that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. Actually, he only comes in once or twice a week. Says he's too busy. Of course, the reason he's so busy is because he's too cheap to hire another person to help him run the place. Kind of surprised me when I heard he was trying to buy Katie Firestone out. Must have something up his sleeves, all I can figure. Most, if not all, the notes you find in bottles around here were put there by Hilda Swenson. They made a ton of money in Hollywood as writer-producers and just wanted to enjoy life. Wonderful people. Very active. In fact, Hilda was mayor for eight years. But then, out of the blue, her husband died. They'd been a team for so long that, well, she pretty much died then, too. She just kind of lost it. Started talking to walls and doing bizarre things until one day she rode to the island across the channel that she and her husband owned and never came back. Trouble is, nobody can understand what she's trying to say. All she ever writes is letters and numbers and that one word, Rosebud. I leave a couple of bags of groceries outside her cabin every week, and sometimes I can see her inside. But whenever I try to talk to her... She won't answer. We'll never know what's going on in that mind of hers. She left everything behind. Problem is, it's all been sold, given away, or thrown out. Problem is, my home's across town, and I'm real low on clams, which means I've got to go clamming before I can even think about doing anything else. Okay, if you get the clams, I'll go get the necklace. You'll never guess what happened. While I was home getting that necklace for you, somebody broke in here. The sheriff just left. What's weird is I'm not only missing food, like bread and eggs and stuff like that, but it looks like they also stole a bunch of tools and some boat parts. Nothing. He looked around, wrote down what was stolen, shook his head, and said he'd call me. Go figure. What's more, both doors were locked when I got here, and none of the windows were broken. It's like a ghost did it. If you want to play detective, please be my guest. If you have any questions, just holler. Everybody comes in here. Know how some people can't go a day without coffee? People around here can't go a day without a bowl of my clam chowder. It never went on, that's what I know. Shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again? 
It's just a big, colorful, tall tail. Never happened. Sorry. She made a necklace for me. Prettiest thing I own. I'd show it to you, but it's at my house. How did you know she gave me something? A trap door? No. Where does it go? So where does it go? Well, sort of. My niece got hold of it last time she was out here and locked it up in some kind of toy box. It's on the table over there if you want to try to open it, because unfortunately, I can't. In fact, if you ever want a free sample, just say the word. Coming right up. Say no more. She was this lady who retired here with her husband about 20 years ago. I don't know anything about it. Probably just goes to a root cellar or something. A tunnel? I don't know anything about it. Look, tunnels are dangerous. I don't want you going down there anymore. I mean it. Just forget about this whole thing. No! Okay, look. I guess if you're real careful, you can keep poking around down there. But I don't want you telling anybody else about that tunnel without coming to me first. I got my reasons. I've also got work to do. My family has always denied that Shanghai ever took place in Snake Horse Harbor. Why? Because it did take place. And my great-great-grandfather, the man who built this place, he was a big part of it. I'd always been told that the tunnel he and his cohorts used to kidnap people had been filled in. And Aunt Iris said nothing to me about that trap door you found. If word gets out about that tunnel, the truth about my great-great-grandfather will come out eventually, too. I just wanted to spare my parents' feelings. But you also need a permit. Andy Jason can issue you one. Back at ya. Yeah, hasn't it, though? Later, Gator. Ain't that the truth. I do all my shopping at Save King. Got a storm somewhere. I don't have a garage. I barely have a closet, and my boat breaks down a lot. Good question. Aunt Iris didn't know either. She just said it and the others like it have been on the walls in here since the place was built. You can put them in here. Fifteen ought to do it. That's the limit anyway. My pleasure. Next one will be on the house, too. Mmm, that was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. What do you think you're doing? Those signs over there say no trespassing, which means keep out. Which means you, girly. Leave. Now. Go. Well, well, looks like Snake Horse Harbor's got itself a newcomer. Done with that chess problem yet? You again? Forget it. Well, now, why would you want to do a thing like that? <laughs> I'm Holt Scotto. Oh, you're not one of them save the whale and uh, heck with everybody else crusader types like she is, are you? Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, is the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale? Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Harbor, home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the Snake Horse. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times at Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night, and men would just vanish. It was a snake horse, people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. But they'd been shanghai See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy'd be having a drink one minute, and next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. He'd wake up on the high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then, and an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. Fishermen never retire, young lady. After all, what would we do? Go fishing? <laughs> Every day. Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense, instead of doing what's politically correct all the time. Now, <laughs> why, well, thank you, young lady. I'll take that as a compliment. Harbor Master we got now bends over backwards so far for the environmentalists, it's a wonder he can still walk upright. Oh, now, that really is a shame. Tell you what, I'll let you borrow one, sure. I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. Trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. Try again. 
Congratulations! Just bring me that male crab and you'll be home free. Put that one back and try again. It's illegal to catch female crabs, by the way, so get it right next time or I may just turn you in. Because Atlantic herring are found only in the Atlantic. Trust me, I spent five years fishing for them. We'd catch them by the hundreds, freeze them, and sell them to aquariums and such. Of course! What else would they do with them? Bring them back to life and put them on exhibit? Look, I don't know how it is where you're from, but up here seeing two dead fish on a beach isn't exactly front page news. Let it go. Fourth generation. I've fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. Oh, now that's a shame. Sure did. She even crewed for me a couple of times. There she was, this itty bitty lady in her 60s hauling in nets. Did it for the sheer love of adventure. She was quite a gal. Let's have a look. I just think anything that's been around as long as it has should be treated with respect, that's all. And since most people can't seem to do that, everybody should just stay away. Nope. You may have seen Pacific herring, but not Atlantic herring. No way. Nope. So what if she did? Right now? What for? Tell you what. This chess problem I've been working on is giving me fits. Here. <laughs> you sure are a demanding little thing, ain't you? But feel free to look at the chess book in my duffel bag if you need help. Let me know when you're through. So what do you want? And to keep up my end of the bargain, I'm not taking my boat out now. It's almost dark. Just call the Coast Guard. Why? Look, I'm not going anywhere. And if you know what's good for you, neither are you. Just forget it. Just ace the rest of the quiz and you'll be home free. I'll take care of the crab for you. Watch out for Caddy. Vote for Holt. Spread the word. Yeah, whatever. Yo ho ho. Hey, hey, stay out of there. <coughs> that belongs to me. <laughs> you are some kind of nosy, aren't you? Ha! <laughs> Nancy Drew! Nancy Drew, are you on board? This is Holt Scarrow. I'm here with the Coast Guard. Nancy! Nancy Drew! Nancy Drew, are you on board? This is Holt Scarrow. I'm here with the Coast Guard. Nancy! This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Here. Sorry, you didn't get all of them right. Right as rain. Here's your GPS. Just turn around and follow the instructions. I'll take care of the crab for you. Great, thank you. <laughs> well, you had a 50-50 chance of getting it right, and you got it wrong. Wrong again. Remember what I said about me maybe turning you in if you messed up again? Well, you can forget the maybe part. Solve it for me, and I'll let you see what Hilda gave me. Here's what Hilda gave me. Handles made of scrimshaw. She carved it herself. Never would tell me why she wrote one bum on it like that. Of course, this was after her husband died. Guess her mind was starting to go. Thanks for letting me see it. Hello? Hello, Nancy. Hilda here. Hilda? Hilda Swenson? Easy, girl. It's not like you're talking to the Queen of England or anything. Although I did meet her once. Stuffy lot, those Windsors. More important, I know you. Or rather, I know I can trust you. Just in time, too. I have the feeling things around there are about to get out of hand. Where there's a will and a satellite internet connection, there's always a way. Patience. As in all good films, all will eventually be revealed. In the meantime, people think what I want them to think. But let's get on with it. We may be running out of time. Because I'm crazy. Or at least everyone around here thinks I am. The truth is, I've sent you an email. Read it, follow the instructions, and we'll do lunch. No, 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 it's just an expression, dear. No one in Hollywood ever really has lunch when they say they're going to do lunch. Oh. I'll be in touch. And rest assured, I'll be watching. Which reminds me, someone's been up in the lighthouse. I couldn't see who. I hope they aren't doing any damage. They did leave kind of a mess. We really must put a stop to this, Nancy. Ciao! Hello? Hello, Nancy. I commend your ability to take direction and to follow through. You're definitely a cut above. And for that, you've just been rewarded. I told you I would be. I always keep my word, Nancy. I think it's the least human beings can do for each other. Now, here's your next mission. Listen carefully. You're to take it with you, but for now, listen carefully. I hope you like poems. <clears throat> Below ground is a rock with a strange anvil look. When you're near it, behold what's above. Letters found at the beach will put a new spot in reach. Letters only a sailor could love. Oh, my apologies, dear. I'm many things, but I'm afraid I'm not much of a poet. Were I to simply give it to you, you might just turn around and toss it away. But if I make you earn it, you'll feel like it's yours and use it properly. 
Now, where was I? I'm a very curious person. I like to know things. Let's just leave it at that. Huh, let's see, where was I? Ah, the device you just found. It'll come in handy when you get where you're going after you've gone where my poem takes you. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, no, please don't hang up. I've got so many questions. Shoot, Hilda? Uh-oh, I'm getting predictable. This really will be our last conversation. Oh, I hope not. I'd really like to meet you. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. So, here you are in the home stretch. Okay, look. When I made my exit from Snake Horse Harbor, I left everything behind. You know, to kind of prove that I'd lost all my marbles. Problem is, I left behind something that I realize now I should have taken with me. My notebook on Benjamin Hawkins. Someone has obviously found it and is misusing it. See, my husband and I explored every inch of land in, around, and under Snake Horse Harbor. What we discovered, and we discovered everything, we wrote down in that notebook. So this fishy thing that's going on, you feel like it's your fault. Precisely. So, use what I just gave you and take a look at the boat in the bottle that Andy has. A really good look. When the time comes, you'll know what to do with what you see. Why do you want everyone to think you're crazy when you're obviously not? Oh, Nancy, after my husband died, I just got bored. I love the San Juans, but the people of Snake Horse Harbor, I got tired of them. So I moved across the channel, and to make sure people left me alone... You pretended to be nuts. But then I got to thinking that it might be a good idea to make contact with someone trustworthy, just in case. Hence the messages in the bottles. Now, get going before it's too late. And what I just told you, keep it to yourself, okay? Sure. So you won't be calling me anymore? No. This, as they say in the business, is a wrap. Well, I've enjoyed knowing you. And I you. Thank you, Nancy. Goodbye, Hilda. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. The question is, are you looking at the front of that picture? Or the back? Think about it. Sound advice, if I ever heard it. Like who? Why do you say that? Because, frankly, nobody around here seems to like her very much. Like who? Of course. That's how the Shanghaiers would get their victims out to the boats in the harbor. And how the burglars have been escaping with their loot. You're kidding me. Cadborosaurus. His or her nickname is Caddy. What does it look like? Hardy Res, Joe speaking. Hey, Joe, it's me. Hi, Nancy. What's going on? Hello? Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. Hey! Joe, lock her up and then get to a phone. It's Nancy. He's locking someone up? Hardy Res, Joe speaking. Hi, Joe. Me again. Hey, Nancy. We're both here. Is the dog still there, too? <laughs> Never mind. Hello? Hi, Joe. Frank, grab the phone. It's Nancy. Well, Goldie's owner came and got her. Her show name is Samson's Gold, by the way. Goldie for short. Hardy Res, Joe here. Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. It's Nancy. So what's up? Hello? Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. I was hoping it was you. So what's going on? I'm not sure yet. Well, th don't call us until you are sure, okay? This is torture. Sorry. It was on her collar along with the phone number. There's just one problem. What? Goldie. She's not a someone. She's a something. Hey, Nancy. H how's life in the Pacific Northwest? Well, someone ransacked Katie's boat just before I arrived. Wow, that's great. No, it's not, Joe. Yes, it is. Not for Katie, of course. I mean for Nancy. She's got a mystery to solve. She's supposed to be on vacation? Crime never takes a vacation, Frank. <laughs> That was Goldie. That was Goldie. Bingo. She's this dog we found. We're waiting for her owner to come get her. That's nice of you guys. Well, unfortunately, there's a problem. She's as big as an SUV. Fully loaded. <coughs> She's in the garage. I'm upstairs. That's how big her bark is, so you can imagine how big she is. Great Dane. Yikes! How does somebody go about losing a Great Dane? <laughs> good question. Enough about us. Let's hear about this case of yours, Nancy. That's the good news. We're talking triple digits. Wow! Enough about us. Let's hear what you've been up to, Nancy. Her owner is on his way to pick her up. He'd better be. <coughs> Goldie, be quiet! It was on her collar along with the phone number. There's just one problem. What? Goldie is about as black as dogs get. I'm sure her owner can explain when he comes to pick her up. Which better be soon. The neighbors are starting to complain about the noise. <coughs> Goldie, bad dog! Hey, Nancy, Joe tell you the bad news? I thought giving a dog the size of an SUV back to its owner would be considered good news. The garage, Nancy. The garage is... Well, it's... A mess. A big mess. A there-goes-the-reward money mess. A clean-it-up-before-any-parental-units-come-home-and-kill-you mess. Sorry, guys. Do you have time to talk? 
Oh, yeah. We could use the fresh air. When you talk to people, just keep two things in mind. Motive and opportunity. Two things all suspects have in common. I think Nancy already knows that. Yeah, I know. It's just that she's there and we're here and I'm... <coughs> ...getting real tired of that dog. Why do you think she doesn't like her? What's he got against Katie? Uh-oh. When emotions run high, so does the probability of bad behavior. Keep an eye on that one, Nancy. The old green-eyed monster. Jealousy breeds contempt, you know. Familiarity breeds contempt, Joe. So does jealousy. Trust me. Well, watch out for him, Nancy, because you just described yourself. Huh? What do you mean this guy seems to like Katie? He's trying to buy her out. He may have trashed her boat as a way of making his offer seem more attractive to her. Okay. Possible culprit, definite suspect. I know how he got the boat in the bottle. Can't tell you. Been sworn to secrecy. But I can tell you this. It does not involve any kind of shrinking machine. You do? Well, my guess is you build the boat outside the bottle, then collapse the sails so they lie flat, stick the boat and the sails in the bottle, then raise the sails once it's in place. Am I right? I'm not telling. Nothing wrong with following up on a hunch. <coughs> Goldie, no! She must have thought I said lunch. <coughs> Absolutely. A GPS would make a great gift, don't you think, Nancy? For, like, say a big brother to give his little brother for, like, say his upcoming birthday? That probably depends on the big brother. And on what the little brother has done for him lately. Always a catch. You found a geocache. I hear that using GPS units to track down stuff that other people have hidden is a hobby for some people. That sounds cool. Sure does. In fact... Sounds like you're not convinced. I just find it hard to believe she'd be ashamed of something that happened more than a hundred years ago. But why would she burglarize herself? I don't know. And I have to admit, she did seem genuinely surprised when I told her about the trap door. That settler who used to disappear every so often? Benjamin Hawkins? Maybe that's where he hid. In the tunnel. You obviously don't have any black sheep in your family. Frank, should I tell her about our great Aunt Remy? You do, and you're grounded. See what I mean? I doubt it. The hot kettle wasn't built until 1866. The tunnel could have been there first. Could be a lava tube or some other natural formation. And if Hawkins did use the tunnel, he could have left something down there. Something valuable. Make sure you see everything there is to see down there, Nancy. Keep going, Nancy. You're getting close to something. Yeah, you've got doors flying open all over the place. Just keep it up. Maybe whatever he hid is in the sea caves. Joe, we don't know for sure that he hid anything. It's called optimism, Frank? That pretty much describes everyone you've ever dated, doesn't it, Frank? It's probably a descendant of a prehistoric reptile called Plesiosaurus. You don't really think there's a sea monster out there, do you? People probably just don't want to admit they've seen it. Keep an eye out, Nancy. This vacation of yours may not be a complete bust after all. A shipwreck? Now you're talking. Yeah, tell us more. What? Who? What kind of crime? Uh-oh. You know what, guys? It's kind of a long story, and it just hit me that I don't have a lot of time. I'll call you as soon as I get everything wrapped up, okay? Uh, wait a minute. You can't just hang up. Can and M. Sorry, guys. Bye. Somebody saw something, or we wouldn't be having this conversation. Oh, and Joe, that thing about me giving you a GPS for your birthday? Not gonna happen. Me and my big mouth. Uh-oh. Say no more. He's your man. He is? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The person you least suspect is always the culprit. Mysteriously? Whenever this ex-pirate would show up, Benjamin Hawkins, that was the settler's name, he'd vanish for days at a time. Nobody knows where he and his family hid. I know how he did it. That narrows it down. I'm assuming the ship is now a shipwreck. I'm trying to find out its full name, and I've become a bit of a wood detective in the process. What does a shipwreck have to do with a vandalized boat or an orphaned whale? A global positioning system? Cool! If you have the coordinates for a specific place, you just enter them and it shows up on the display screen, right? I think so. I haven't had to do that yet. A global positioning system? Cool! If you have the coordinates for a specific place, you just enter them and it shows up on the display screen, right? That's right. In fact, I did just that and found a box someone buried on this secluded beach. Any idea what her problem is? You think it was an accident? Well, the lighthouse is in pretty bad shape, but I can't help but wonder why Holt Scotto has taken such an interest in the place. Maybe he just thinks they're cool. I know I do. You might try searching around on that laptop of yours. To find a live male crab, though, I'm pretty sure you'll have better luck elsewhere. As for question number two, you're going to have to go see the world. You just need to dislodge it with something. There's plenty of stones on that beach, and you've got a good arm. So get skipping. Take a good look at your GPS next time you're out in your kayak. Those numbers that tell you where you are should look kind of familiar. Were you to add something to your GPS, 
Who knows where you'd end up? The secret is in the symbols. And the key is in the kettle. Shoot. That reminds me. I mailed a letter and forgot to put the flag up. Maybe we should just spell it out for her. What do you think, Frank? Just give her the answer? I think we should nip that idea in the bud. Alphabets aren't always made up of letters, you know. One alphabet in particular uses words, because letters can sound alike when you're spelling something out loud. It seems to have an unflagging interest in silly words. And it likes to hang in kettles. Take a look in Holt's duffel like he suggested. Yeah, a good look. You can solve a number of problems that way. Royalty has its privileges. Sometimes they get to do things twice. The name of one of the chess pieces rhymes with what Bess currently likes to do. Move it twice and you'll have yourself a king. Sometimes letters get scrambled into anagrams before they get assembled into words. Sometimes detectives have fancy laptops with fancy software that can unscramble them. Know what deja vu means, Joe? Already seen. Very good. You've got that one in the bag, don't you? Maybe you should just... Bag it. Maybe you should just book a stool at the hot kettle and fish for answers there. Oil never tell. Be nice if you had some oil. A little tunnel vision would come in handy, too. Look around for some spares. There must be some around there somewhere. After all, it's a lighthouse. You could probably pick one up at Katie's, don't you think, Frank? Joe, sometimes your wisdom floors me. Maybe you're supposed to manipulate them until you get a certain combination of cards. Easy, Frank. We're just supposed to give her a hand. Not poker. Don't worry, Nancy. This one's in the bag. Just keep looking. Maybe you're supposed to manipulate them until you get a certain combination of cards. You know, sometimes the name of a place says it all. I'd kind of like to table this conversation. Not yet. She just needs a little push in the right direction. I have the feeling she could be stepping into a trap. She did use some odd terms. If I were you, I'd hit the net and start searching. Since this picture has two sides, you're just going to have to keep track of what both sides look like. Don't worry. Once Caddy gets it together, things are sure to take a turn for the better. Something tells me it'll be clear sailing once you figure out what symbols match up on those dials. Give it a spin, and who knows what might happen. Maybe this is where the thing Hilda left you in that underwater cache does its thing. Use what she left you to check out the boat at Andy's. It'll be clear sailing once you figure out what symbols match up on those dials. Give it a spin, and who knows what might happen. Be careful. And have fun. Call us anytime. Yeah, it's a pretty sure bet we'll be here. Bye, Nancy. See you around the compass. Make it soon. And keep up the good work. From then on, you're going to have to mind your P's and Q's. He means your P's and S's. Right. And pretend you're on a boat. Yeah, that should point you in the right direction. First thing you need to do is find a way to get below ground. I'm floored that we haven't discovered one yet. Kind of burgles the mind, doesn't it? Sounds like something down there has a peculiar shape. And something above it is worth looking at. There's obviously something in the tunnel with a peculiar shape. And something above it worth looking at. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone suggested I give you a call. Katie who? Katie Firestone? Never heard of her. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before. About the driftwood? Never heard of you. Now, if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew, Katie Firestone's friend. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I think I've identified that piece of driftwood. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Nope. Couldn't find any ships that went down in the vicinity of Snake Horse Harbor with cargo containers made of that kind of wood. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Nope. Still couldn't find any possibilities. But I'm willing to keep trying. Come up with another kind of wood, give me another call, and I'll give her another shot. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Nope. Too many possibilities. Couldn't narrow it down. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Nope. Still too many possibilities. But I'm willing to keep trying. Come up with another kind of wood, give me another call, and I'll give her another shot. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy Drew. This is Casey Porterfield at the Maritime Library. Either I'm busy doing research or I'm on a break or there's a stained glass exhibit going on somewhere. But in any case, I can't come to the phone and since the playback button stopped working on this thing about two years ago, you're just gonna have to call back. Oh.
I know a marine biologist named Katie Firestone. Yes, that's her. I'm staying with her here in Snake Horse Harbor. Oh, well, then what can I do for you? How do you know it came from a ship? Because it says SS on it. The rest of the name is missing. Doesn't mean anything. Now, if it said SS, which stands for steamship, that'd be different. Uh, actually, that is what it says. Oh, well, then it came from a ship. Or should I say shipwreck? What kind of wood is it? What's so odd about it? It's a piece of plywood, and it looks like it's been in the water a long time. Yet one end of it has very sharp splinters, like it broke off from the ship just recently. <laughs> Sorry, for a second there, I thought you said old. Actually, uh, that is what I said. You're about as much use as a beanie in a hurricane. Look, if you want me to tell you what shipwreck that wood came from, you're gonna have to tell me what kind of wood it is. But I have no idea. Well, you just get yourself a book on wood and figure it out. Maybe Katie has one. Soon as you do, call me back. I love checking out stuff like this. So what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? So what kind of wood do you think it is this time, Nancy? Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container that's part of a shipwreck, there's a good chance I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor. I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. I really appreciate your doing this for me, Casey. And well, you should. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Give me a call back. That's disappointing. That's the spirit. Take another look at that wood and get back to me when you think you know what it is. By golly, I like your spunk. Most people I'd know'd be disappointed. Oh, then I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris up from it. Just not possible. I have been doing this type of research for 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? How about the smuggling? After it sank, some crew members said there was something unusual about the cargo it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics. Just rumors. Nothing to tell. Zero. Everybody managed to survive. The SS Whitechapel Dawn sank five years ago right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor, about a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy, what with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway... Everything fits, except one thing. Official cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy? No, thanks. Caddy! That's what they call it! Caddy! Anyway, this has been fun, young lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, by the way, I just got done emailing you something. What? I certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machinery. I said... I just got done emailing you something. Great, thanks. Well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. Official cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy! That's what they call it! Caddy! You just need to dislodge it somehow. Try skipping a stone into the bottle. That way you can nudge it loose without breaking it. First thing you need to do is figure out a way to get below ground. I have a feeling whoever burglarized Jenna's place already knows. Take another look around that back room of hers. And once you're underground, find something that looks like an anvil, stand near it, and look up. Sounds like you just need to look for the rock in the tunnel that's shaped like an anvil, stand near it, and look up. As for that letter stuff, she must be talking about that paper with all those S's and P's on it that you found in the box on the beach. But why would sailors love S's and P's? Maybe they stand for words only sailors usually use. Yeah! Use your laptop to search for nautical terms, Nance. Hopefully someone left the answer right there. Hello? Hey, Bess. It's me. Hey, how's it going? Grab the phone. It's Nancy. While George picks up, I'm going to turn down the heat under my roux. Under your what? Hello? Hi, Bess. Can you talk? Hey, Nancy. Of course I can talk. I think she just wanted to make sure nothing on the stove was in danger of igniting. Everything's safely on simmer. What's up? Hello? Hey, Bess. Oh, Nancy, it is such a bummer that you're not here. Why? Because she won't stop cooking. 
Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, Nancy. What's going on? Hello? Hi, Bess. It's me. So what happened? What did Katie say? Hello? Hi, Bess. It's me. Have you found a ride out to that shipwreck yet? Well, no, but... Then, then what, what are you calling, calling us for? for? Right. Hello? Hey, Bess. It's me. Nancy, hi. Have you confronted Katie yet? Not yet. So what's up? Hey, Nance. So, how's your vacation going? What? No, 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 no mysteries, Nancy. You're supposed to be relaxing. Oh, give it up, George. She can't help it. So what's the deal with this one? Why would somebody do something like that? Uh-oh. I bet it's got something to do with that orphan killer whale. You know about that? Katie told us about the whale when we called to tell her you were on your way. Someone vandalized Katie's boat because of a whale? Katie does have a mouth on her, especially when the subject is marine life. Did they find any fingerprints? Katie wouldn't let me call the sheriff. Why not? Well, she doesn't have much money, I can tell you that. Uh-oh. Bess? You almost sound like you're suspicious of her or something. Uh, Bess? Is that supposed to be smoking like that? Oh, no! Darn it! Darn what? My roux. It's ruined. Oh, no. She wrecked her roux. It's not funny, George. Yes, it is, Bess. What's a roux? A carefully heated mixture of flour and butter. I was going to use it to thicken my gumbo. Rock shrimp gumbo. It was Chef Sherwood's main dish last night. She's hooked on this cooking show called Beasting for Fitness. Let me guess. It's hosted by a guy, and he's very cute. That happens to be true, but I watch it because I like his philosophy. Eat in moderation and eat only that which is made out of fresh ingredients and cooked with great skill, care, and judgment. Two days ago. Yesterday she cooked... Or should I say ruined crepes? They weren't ruined. I mean, you could still eat parts of them. Anyway, I want to hear what you're doing, Nance. As usual, George is exaggerating. She's in the process of cooking a ten-course dinner, Nancy. Ten very tasty, very healthy, very small courses. Anyway, it's too bad you're not here to enjoy them. So what's the latest? So are you going to confront her? I don't really have anything to confront her with. Good, because as I recall, Katie doesn't do confrontation very well. My gosh, George. Is there anything else Nancy should know about this so-called friend of yours? Katie's fine. She just has a few edgy little quirks, that's all. Great. That's probably what they said about Lizzie Borden. Do you think he has a point? I can see why he's upset. I mean, that whale is making it difficult for fishermen like him to make a living, yet nobody seems to care. Must be very frustrating. The bottom line is, he had a motive for vandalizing Katie's boat. Don't turn your back on him, Nan. And therefore, very anti-Katie. Sounds like a candidate for your suspect list to me. Does Jenna own the cafe or just run it? She inherited it. The place has been in the Deblin family for centuries. Whoa. Buildings that old are usually haunted, you know. Oh boy, here we go. Well, they are. I didn't say ask for it. I said get it. You're sneaky. Aunt Iris probably left it to her with instructions to keep it in a vault somewhere. I wouldn't trust him, Nan. Once a salesman... Always a salesman. Remember my neighbor, Ray Olaf? He was a salesman, but he quit. Yeah, to go to work for a company that repossesses pets when people can't pay their vet bills. She's right. Don't trust him. But still... That's not very romantic. Well, maybe the rosebud part is... Well, it must mean something to somebody. Just keep your eyes open and keep asking questions, Nan. You'll figure it out. What do you mean? The message makes no sense. Well, it must make sense to somebody. Keep your eyes open and keep asking questions, Nan. You'll figure it out. You're kidding. Of course. Good for you. One should always be suspicious of a suspect. Right. I hate to burst your bubble, but she sounds way wacky to me. Well, eccentric, maybe. No, we're talking Liberty Bell here, Nance. The woman is cracked. Be careful. I don't like the way she's always making you jump through hoops. Me neither. Guys, trust me, she's harmless. Yeah, they probably said that about Lizzie Borden, too. Why do you ask? The thing I'm supposed to send Hilda has something to do with gifts she gave to Jenna, Holt, and Andy. I have to go clamming for Jenna before I can see what Hilda gave her. What did Hilda give everybody else? I smell a wild goose chase. So do I. I was right. The place is haunted. Why would a ghost steal food and boat parts? Well, maybe they're going on a trip. You know, on the Flying Dutchman or something. Right. You think that's how the thieves got in and out? Gotta be. Or... I think you should stick to finding out who vandalized Katie's boat. I think you should follow your instincts, even if they do seem totally bizarro. Hello? Hi, Nance. We're bored silly here, so we thought we'd give you a call. What's going on? Great timing, you guys. You will not believe what I just discovered. What? Tell us. For one thing, that orca that's been causing all the trouble around here... It's not wild at all. It's been trained. How do you know? Because I played fetch with it. 
I'd toss something into the water, and it would use its head to kind of bonk it back to me. You gave Katie food poisoning? No, I mean, not exactly. Something in the sandwich I made for her didn't agree with her. Where is she now? Outside, leaning over the rail and, you know. Gee, Nan, I've never given any of your friends food poisoning. I'm sure it was just an honest mistake. Give it another try, Nancy. Just go easy on the salmonella this time. <laughs> Very funny. You gave yourself food poisoning? I must be the worst cook in the history of sandwich making. The ideal sandwich is a visually pleasing combination of high-quality carbohydrates and protein. Just keep it simple and you can't go wrong. Chef Sherwood says... Sorry, guys. Gotta go. You gave yourself food poisoning? All I know is I made myself a sandwich and ugh, it didn't agree with me. The ideal sandwich is a visually pleasing combination of high-quality carbohydrates and protein. Just keep it simple and you can't go wrong. Chef Sherwood says... Sorry, guys. Gotta go. Maybe it just picked that up on its own. No, see, I found this hidden sea cave, and in it was this harness-type thing like the military uses on the orcas that it trains. So what do you think it's been trained for? They were from the Whitechapel Dawn. You think somebody trained the orca to retrieve containers from that shipwreck? Casey the librarian did say the ship could have been smuggling something, and people don't usually bother smuggling something unless it's valuable. Who trained it? That's what I want to know. Well, in that hidden sea cave, I came across something else. What? A pair of work gloves. They had Katie's name on them. Oh my gosh, Katie's behind all this? Not necessarily. Those gloves may have been stolen from her. Have you asked her about them? Not yet. I'm on my way to do that right now. Well, get going and let us know what she says as soon as she says it. I will. I never got a chance to talk to her. She's gone. Gone? She must have fixed her boat and taken off. Taken off for where? The shipwreck? Yes, so I'm going out there. As soon as I find someone who can take me, that is. I can't kayak from here. It's too far. You think she's trying to hide something? I know she's your friend, George, but I just got the feeling she wasn't telling me everything. Well, it's not like she's my best friend or anything. But what would she be hiding? It's not exactly a word you hear every day. It's not exactly hard proof either. What else did this Scotto guy have to say? What's her problem? What kind of stuff does she cook? She's famous for her clam chowder, which is outstanding. Well, don't just stand there. Get me the recipe. What kind of stuff does she cook? I had one of her homemade muffins, and it was outstanding. Well, don't just stand there. Get me the recipe. Why should he care if you poke around the lighthouse? He said it's because he doesn't trust people to treat it with the respect it deserves. Do you believe him? Why should he care if you poke around the lighthouse? Good question. The obvious answer is that he's hiding something. What does he sell? Whale watching tours. He keeps trying to talk Katie into selling her company to him and becoming his business partner. Think he wrecked her boat so she'd have to go into business with him? Oh, that is so romantic. What did it say? Check out the URLs in the search engine on the Deception Island portal page on your laptop. I bet you'll find everything you need there. Except for a live male crab, of course. Head to the beach by the lighthouse for that one. And for question number two, go see the world. Whale world, that is. What do you mean, supposedly crazy? Well, I was told that she went a little wacky after her husband died and became a hermit. But her letter actually made sense. What did it say? So was everyone right about her? Is she mental? Not at all. I think she just enjoys making people use their brains. Ouch, what a meanie. Let's see. I've clammed up. My skin's been clammy. I owe George a couple of clams. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Ghosts? What do you mean? Somebody stole food and some boat parts from a back room without breaking any windows or jimmying any locks. Ghosts? What do you mean? Somebody stole some food and boat parts from a back room without breaking any windows or jimmying any locks. But I found a trap door that leads to a secret tunnel. I don't get why you're so interested in some shipwreck. I don't know. Finding wood from a wreck that shouldn't be producing driftwood? On the same beach where I saw dead fish that shouldn't be there? Something's weird. I don't get why you're so interested in some shipwreck. I don't know. Finding wood from a wreck that shouldn't be producing driftwood? <sighs> Something's weird, that's all. What do you mean? I mean, as soon as she finishes fixing her boat, she's going to drive me to the airport and send me back to River Heights. She's kicking you out? Why? I found out she'd been feeding the orca, which is illegal, and I guess she was embarrassed and didn't know what else to do. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like Katie. I'm sorry, Nan. My gosh, George, you sure have some weird friends. Weird cousins, weird friends. What can I say? Do you think somebody trained the orca to dive down to that shipwreck and retrieve whatever the White Chapel Dawn was carrying?
Casey the librarian did say the ship could have been smuggling something, and people don't usually bother smuggling something unless it's valuable. You're being booked into jail? The crab I caught for Holt turned out to be a female. Catching female Dungeness crabs is illegal. I can't believe Holt had you arrested. I did it twice. He was pretty ticked. Wow, I've never been in the slammer. Hey, let me know what kind of food they serve, okay? Sure. The shipwreck, Nan. If she's been using the whale to retrieve that sunken cargo, that's got to be where she is. That's a very big if, Bess. See if someone in town can take you out to where the Whitechapel Dawn went down. What have you got to lose? It's almost nighttime there, isn't it? Maybe you should just wait until she gets back. Hilda seemed to think we were running out of time. If I wait, I may never know the truth. I'd better go now. Just be careful. careful. I will. Thanks, guys. Well, you've got the letters N and W. North and West, maybe? And all those numbers. Maybe they're coordinates. Yeah. Enter them into your GPS, then go to that spot. Maybe you'll find buried treasure or something. If you could figure out what those flags on the box mean, I'll bet you could figure out how to open it. Try the Hot Kettle Cafe. Maybe there's something in there that could help you. Well, if each of those flags on the box stands for a letter, maybe you're supposed to use them to spell out a seven-letter word. And maybe that word has been right in front of you this whole time. Things are looking pretty rosy to me. Sometimes people use words to represent letters because some letters sound so much alike. You know, like T, B, E, Z. So maybe some of those funny words she used actually represent letters. Bess, I salute you. Take a look at that chess book and hold Stuffle. You may find a number of answers in there. Try moving White's most powerful man, or should I say woman, twice. Those nonsense words that were written on them, maybe they're some kind of anagram. Yeah, maybe the letters would spell out something that made sense if they were in a different order. You have some kind of anagram buster on your laptop, don't you? Ooh, use it and see what happens. Maybe you've already seen it. That's right. It may already be in the bag. Hold that thought, George. Hold that thought. I think you should book it over to the hot kettle. Aw, uh, don't sweat it, Nance. It's in the bag. Maybe we should all hold that thought. All they need is a good shot of oil. All they need is a good shot of oil. This is one case where tunnel vision is a good thing. There must be some spare bulbs around there somewhere. Just look high and low, Nance. Soon you'll be seeing the light. Maybe Katie has one. Have you looked around her boat? You might have to do a little tidying up first. Maybe you're supposed to manipulate them until you get a certain combination of cards. Like a particular poker hand or something. I bet your buddy Holt has something stashed away that might be helpful. Maybe you're supposed to manipulate them until you get a certain combination of cards. Like a particular poker hand or something. Didn't Holt have a book on poker in that duffel of his? Look for the table in the back room that looks a little odd. Then give it a little push. Then watch where you step. It could be a trap. I'll bet it's more nautical jargon. Maybe that search engine on your laptop can help. Just remember, there are two sides to every story and to some pictures, too. Keep your eyes peeled, Nan. And your ears. Just remember, what you do on one side affects how things look on the other. Just keep track of what Caddy looks like from both sides. Once he gets it together, I just know things are going to take a turn for the better. Way will be in touch. Bess. Me too. I gotta go braise my brisket. Whatever. Bess, do you smell something burning? Shoot! Bye, Nance! See ya. Hasta la pasta. Remember the symbols you saw on the sails of that bottle boat at Andy's? Maybe they figure into those dials somehow. Give them a whirl and see what happens. It might just open up all sorts of possibilities. Maybe you should do what Hilda said and use those tinted glasses she left for you to take a look at the boat in a bottle Andy has. Maybe what you see will tie in with those dials somehow. Give it a whirl, Nance. It might just open up all sorts of possibilities. We promised Frank and Joe Hardy they could do the honors this time. Yeah, call them. They love it when you ask them for help. We're good. Just say the word. I've been trying to buy her out and convince her to go into business with me. Unfortunately, she keeps refusing. Anyway, sure. If you go on a whale watch. Hi there. Welcome. Feel free to wander around, read everything, do everything. Just enjoy. If you have questions, I'll be right here. You know, I'm going to take a wild guess here, but you're Nancy, right? Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? Hi, Nancy. That's me. How'd you know? Nice to meet you, Nancy. Any friend of Katie's is a friend of mine. If you can't beat him, join him. Or have them join you, right, Nancy? I like to think we're friends, or that we could be friends if she'd just be reasonable. It's my mission to see that everyone who comes to Snake Horse Harbor leaves with a greater appreciation for marine mammals. And if I make a buck in the process, that's cool too. I saw your name on Katie's calendar last time I was out there. I'm offering her the deal of a lifetime. She'd make more money, she'd have more free time. I mean, look at this place. 
I run a first-class operation. I must admit, that is a little frustrating. I don't like her taking any customers away from me. And frankly, with this whale doing its orphan thing out there, I'm losing a lot of customers to her. Katie convinced the fishery service that she should be allowed to monitor the orca's condition, which means she can get right up next to the whale while my boat has to stay away. Paying passengers, as many as she can safely fit. Nothing. I think people should just leave it alone. I mean, why do we humans always think we know best? We can barely deal with ourselves, let alone a whole other species. A bunch of stuff was stolen from two shops earlier this week. Maybe Katie came back before the thief could get around to stealing anything. Food, tools, clothing, electronics. There was no sign of forced entry, no trace of who did it. Sheriff's still scratching his head. Very true. As long as her boat's out of commission, I'll get all her customers. Jenna Deblin. Runs the Hot Kettle Cafe. She was seething at the meeting last night. She doesn't think Katie should be allowed anywhere near that whale. I was in the kettle once when this guy tried to sneak out without paying. Jenna was so mad and grabbed him so hard that he was the one who yelled for help. Thank you. That's the one. Gave away everything she owned, moved to this tiny island across the channel, and went certifiably nuts. Which is too bad. She was a nice lady. This historian who was in here once said he was pretty sure that was a model of a pirate ship. So now I tell people Hawkins was a pirate. I have no idea. But like most of the settlers around here, he was probably just a farmer. Okay, okay. Sounds a lot like those two other burglaries. So what else is new? You're kidding me. Hmm. Wonder if it's related to those burglaries. That's too bad. No idea. Well, congratulations. I'll give you an exclusive tour. Just be you and me. She gave me the design I used to create the keychains I give away to everyone who goes on a Whale World Whale Watch. She was quite the graphic artist. It was made by one of the first non-Native Americans to settle here, a guy named Benjamin Hawkins. I bought it from this lady who kind of went bonkers after her husband died. Actually, I only give them to paying customers. Really? Wonder if it's related to those other burglaries. No kidding. Wow, that's the third one this week. The way Holt Scotto guards that place? How could I? I was just about to close up shop, but what do you need? Welcome to the club. Just about everybody around here has found one. Rumor has it our semi-resident nutcase, Hilda Swenson, is trying to tell us something. Ordinarily you could, but permits mean paperwork, and I'm kind of busy right now. Of course, if someone wanted to volunteer to help me, so you did. Caddy never looked better. Here's your permit, and, and you'd like me to give you a ride? Sneak up on her? Kayak? Are you nuts? It'll be dark in ten minutes, and what about the fog? Oh, man. You've got me so curious, there's no way I can say no. You just got yourself a boat ride. Go talk to Jenna over at the hot kettle. That lady hears all, sees all, and is usually real willing to tell all. She can tell you about those messages. Inside that box marked Caddy is a miniature of what our resident sea monster might look like in skeletal form. Assemble it for me, and I'll not only give you a permit, but I'll throw in a free clam tube. And remember, if you're quick enough, the clam will be in the sand that comes out of the tube. If not, try, try again. Drop by again. Have a good one. My pleasure. Whales rule! My name's Andy Jason. I saw your name on Katie Firestone's calendar last time I was out there. I'm very observant, and I have a nearly photographic memory. Hey, hey, stop! Somebody stop her! Stop her! Don't let her out! Block the door! Don't let her by! Stay right there! We've got her cornered! Hands off, if you don't mind. Miss, please don't touch that. Whoops. Looks like you have to spin again. Spin again. You have reached Whale World the Center for the Appreciation and Observation of Marine Life. Unfortunately, everyone's busy right now, so please call back. Better yet, come in and see us. In the meantime, have a whale of a day. Here you go. This will activate all the games. It will also keep track of what games you've won, and it'll let you play all the games as many times as you want. Here's your clam tube. Look for little holes in the sand. Sometimes water will squirt out of them. Anyway, Center the tube over the hole, push it down into the sand, and pull. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident. Or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Things that are going to keep some people very warm and make other people, as in me, very rich. Nice try. But I can smell a bluff a mile away. <laughs> what did you do that for? Be careful. I'll be waiting right here. Well, what do we have here? Well, Katie, you'll be happy to know that your friend Nancy will be joining us any minute. Hey, how'd you get that gag off? Well, it appears she's already here. All right, where are you? Nancy! 
Throughout the center, you've been able to hear the sounds different cetaceans make. To see just how good your memory is, press a button, listen to the sound that plays, then press the button of the cetacean that made the sound. If you've made a correct match, the button lights will stay on. When all the buttons are lit, you've matched them all. Ah! Uh -huh.